Nearly 300,000 people are diagnosed with breast cancer annually, and many of the outcomes are actually good. However, TNBC is an aggressive type of breast cancer, and black women are twice as likely to be diagnosed. Ricky Fairley is the founder of Touch the Black Breast Cancer Alliance, and she joins us now with Dr. Monique Gary. Welcome, you two. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I am doing well, and I am happy to have you here. Dr. Gary, I want to start with you. What is TNBC, and how is it different from other types of breast cancer? TNBC, or triple negative breast cancer, is named for and characterized by the absence of hormone receptors or stations on a cancer cell to receive a signal. And so when those stations are absent, it means that we have a more difficult time targeting certain therapies to those cancer cells. And it means that those cancers tend to be more aggressive and have a higher incidence of recurrence and that the treatment for it, the mainstay of treatment is chemotherapy. And what are some of the symptoms and the signs? Signs and symptoms of TNBC include the same signs and symptoms of other, as other types of breast cancer, and the number one sign or symptom is no symptom at all. It is more often diagnosed on screening mammography, and this really underscores the need for women to get their annual screening mammograms. However, when there are symptoms, women can look for, women and men can look for palpable masses, they can look for changes in the skin where the skin maybe looks thicker, like an orange peel. We can look for changes in the nipple, either nipple retraction or nipple discharge. And if someone sees this, they should go immediately to their doctor for a diagnostic workup. Ricky, can you please tell us about your experience with TNBC? Um, I had stage 3A triple negative breast cancer. My doctor found a lump on my annual checkup, so it's so important to do those. Um, I did a lot of chemo. I had a double mastectomy. I had radiation, and then a year to the day of my diagnosis, it came back. My doctor told me I was metastatic and I had two years to live. And I said, well, I can't really die right now because I have a daughter at Dartmouth. I have to put her through school, so me, you, and God need to work this out. I found a specialist who put me on some experimental drugs for triple negative breast cancer, and um, I'm here 10 years later. Well, that is amazing. And what prompted you to begin Touch the Black Breast Cancer Alliance? I've been an advocate since I was sick. I've been on the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation Board, and as I looked around over the, the past few years, the numbers for black women are devastating. We have a 47, 42% higher mortality rate. We have a 39% higher um, recurrence rate, and black women like me who've had breast cancer have a 71% higher risk of death. Black women under 35 are getting breast cancer at twice the rate and dying at three times the rate before they can even get their first mammogram at age 40. And so I said, something is wrong here. You know, clearly there are a lot of social factors um, and access to care factors, but there's something different about our biology. And when you dig into the numbers, we only have about 3% participation of clinical trials of black, with black women. So we don't have the science. And the drugs worked on me the second time around, but they're not working on a lot of other black women. And so I really wanted to bring more science to the conversation, get more black women to participate in research and kind of figure this out. Black breast cancer is a different disease. Black women are getting triple negative at three times the rate and it's just unacceptable. I wanna fix it. Well, your motivation certainly is inspiring. How can we learn more? They can go to our website, touchbbca.org touchbbca.org. We try to have a lot of information on the science. We try to have a mentoring program. We have an HBCU internship program. We're trying to get young women educated about knowing their her story and about breast health as a conversation at the kitchen table. And we're trying to help our breasties. So call us, you know, check us out and we'll, help, we'll try to help you. We have great doctors like Dr. Mo leading our medical advisory board. And we fight like girls every day to make this a better experience for black women. I just want to thank both of you for being here. And Ricky, best wishes to you and your continued health. Thank we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.